look here, if you take a look here, this this is some, uh, these are buoys that are all over the Baja. And what these guys do is they set their lines out and they have these two buoys and then they have like a trailing line coming off of them. That's kind of long. And every fifth or sixth one I see usually has a turtle tangled up in it. So I tell my buddy, Jimmy, get your mask, get ready. There's a turtle, if you look right between the black and the white one, stuck in the middle of that. His little flipper is caught in there. We see this all the time. So Jimmy jumps in the water and swims over to the turtle. We're going to back up to Jimmy let you see. He's cutting out the rope with his fillet knife. He's got his fillet knife, and he's cutting the rope off of the flippers of the turtle. Then he's going to make sure that that turtle is healthy enough to let go because what we don't want to do is just cut him off of that line because the floats have been keeping him up. We're not sure if he's even strong enough to swim. We're actually not harming this turtle in any way. We're actually swimming with the turtle, helping him make sure his flippers all work and everything's working. So we're going to swim back towards the boat here because Jimmy's actually behind the little guy. He's trying to kick, but Jimmy's not going to let go until he's sure that this turtle's strong enough to swim Jim. If this turtle's big enough to be able to swim Jimmy through the water. That way we know he's safe and sound and he can make it out on his own because nobody knows how long he's been tied up to this buoy or if that sun's just been beaten on the poor little feller, but Jimmy's convinced he's going to make it. He's pretty sure. He just wants to get a good look at him under the water, make sure everything's okay. There's still a little bit of rope tied to him, so Jim's getting the rope off, untangling it from the back of back of the turtle right now, but as far as Jimmy's concerned, he lets go of this knife. This turtle is ready to go on his own. If you could see where the rope kind of burned on the turtle there, but Jimmy's just telling Mark, make sure there's no line stuck on him, because if you let go of him right away, he's going to sort of take the knife, look underneath the turtle now, make sure everything's good, turtle's okay, get a good picture, saving the turtle, and we're just going to let him go, and the turtle's going to be fine. But there he goes. See? Jimmy's convinced the turtle's fine. But wait a minute. Let's get the camera and get some underwater video of this guy. So Jimmy swims back to the boat, grabs the GoPro, jumps back in the water, and swims down to the turtle. Now, if you look, you'll notice his back end where he was held up out of the water. Or excuse me, the front end where he was held up out of the water is a different color because it got actually got sunburned. But he seems to be healthy enough and fine. So goodbye, turtle. And there you go, we just saved the life of a green turtle. If you want to know more about what happens down here in Cabo with these turtles and how they get attached to these buoys, leave a comment. I'll be more than happy to answer everyone's questions. Thanks.